So we built our little database here, but how do we actually look at it? And what I've found is the best thing. There's a little uh, program called uh, DB Browser for SQLite. And so you can go to this website, download this little program, and then once you've downloaded and installed it, then when you're in here in, in uh, the Solution Explorer, you can right click on the file and say open with. And so once you've got that installed, DB Browser for SQLite will show up here in the list, although it's not for me. <laughs> so add, and I'm gonna go look and find that little program, DB Browser for SQLite. Pop that in. And now it's one of my options in the list. And then I'm going to say set as the default. So now it has this little default next to it. And now when I uh, double click on this, it will open it up in SQLite. And so this is DB Browser for SQLite. I can see here my table that's been created, applications. I can see all my different fields that have been created. And there's nothing in there, but I can query out of the the data by clicking on browse data, uh, sorry, execute SQL, and I can say select all from uh, applications. Wow, applications. My computer went crazy there for a second. Okay, so then run, and of course it's going to get zero rows because we don't have anything in there. And so I can go into the browse data, and I can go, uh, is that where we do it? No, here, let's see. Uh, right here. So this little button says insert a new record in the current table. And so I can click and then it'll allow me to go put in a record. And so I can say age, uh, where, what was my stuff from before? 27? Creeper stalker, zero. So it, this is what I was saying before. It's going to store a false as a zero and a true as a one. And so this would be a false. And his name was what? What was the name I gave? Man, I can't even think of it. Harold, right? Harold Green, who was an English, no, he was a science major, a science major. Uh, I think we said biology, because I realized science itself is not a major, it's a thing. And phone number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, so we've got that record now in the database, and when we query, now it'll pop up that data, and we can write queries just like we've done uh, to pull whatever data we need here in SQLite. But the point is it created the table for us and it's all set up. And so we should now be able to make entries into that database and use it. Okay, so that's DB Browser for SQLite. Um, the changes that it makes is to the, the SQL statements itself. It shouldn't make changes to the data if I say no. Now it's got me scared though. I'll save it. Okay, so that, like I said, is DB Browser for SQLite. And so we just want to do one other thing, and um, I think just keeping things kind of broken out. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Just kind of keeping things organized. I think I'll end that there and just call this video DB Browser for SQLite, and uh, we'll, we'll do the last little thing in the next video. Spencer out.